What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Yama from The Common Hype. Today we are doing a little bit of a different video. I want to show you guys kind of a day in the life of what we do here on a day-to-day -day basis at Common Hype. More specifically, what each role and each character in our business has and what their responsibilities lie on a day-to-day -day basis. So today's Friday. We just had a drop <clears throat> for some stuff on our new website. And then we've got the sales floor right here. Uh, you'll notice on a Friday, things are pretty consistent throughout most of the day. We can get some customer shopping over here. We've got our sales associates on the floor. Jace over here. You'll see some new faces in this video too, but we'll start off with kind of what happens on the day to day with the sales floor. Now, Jace, basically some of your responsibilities as being a sales associate. So pretty much uh, get here, clean, mop, make the store look beautiful as it is. Yep. Check, make sure we have all the product out that we're supposed to need. We need to replace one like we sold sold out of uh, Japan Tees today. Make sure everything looks good. Yeah, we have to, this display case is obviously big. We're still waiting on the middle strip of glass to go around. It's still not quite finished yet, but being able to clean this display case and make sure it looks really nice and clean every single day when customers walk in. That's a big part of it. As you guys can see, we're already running out of space on the shelves. So maybe need to figure some stuff out. Again, hopefully when that piece of glass comes, it'll allow us to put more things in the display case, which will allow us to put more shoes on the racks. But right now we're basically full on each side, which kind of makes it difficult to obviously display the shoes that we want to display. Usually we'll try and add like the that. hanging rack over there is. Um, all the hangers are nice and neat. Their shoes are factory lay, so when the next customer comes in, they have a good experience. Now, walking into the back room, we've got Joey back here. Joey is our new customer service guy. He handles all of our support emails now. It used to be myself, but I just got so busy on a day-to-day -day basis that my customer service, if I was on it, it was okay, but more often than not, I was not able to handle all of them, which made our customer service suck, which made uh, the business not look good and not the way we want to represent it out to you guys. So Joey has been handled for those responsibilities now. He is also our warehouse manager. Things get done on a day-to-day -day basis. Now with him, he's here Monday through Friday, which has been a blessing to have him. He'll gain more roles in the company as we continue to grow. But what are your day-to-day -day operations looking like? So day to day coming in getting in the support email making sure our customer service is good good experience for everybody um, and then i make sure our shippings go out and they're accurate double checking everything so that we're not um, constantly trying to make up for mistakes um, but everything's done right the first time good experience we get a lot of the orders right however a small select percentage of the orders will they'll get the wrong size they'll get the wrong colorway that they ordered unfortunately that those things do happen we obviously double check everything going out but we simply just are human and we make mistakes we either just read the product wrong we read the size wrong we're going too fast or whatever so joey's here to minimize those mistakes that we make here's a little pile of stuff that we're waiting to receive back on some returns because we sent them the wrong item so these are ready to go back out when those returns do come in this is our shipping station right here well obviously all the orders and stuff go out we bought another monitor and like mini pc thing for just shipping so we don't have to go back and forth from actually shipping labels and stuff um, all of our black light tapes and stuff goes right there basically we have ups and usps these are all outgoing packages so any orders from the day before we try and ship everything the same day usually if you order before 5 p.m your order will get shipped the same day so what we've done is we've segregated these to make sure that uh, obviously when ups usps comes even fedex dhl that uh, they can pick up the packages as they go out what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis what's your what's your job uh, i get in i uh, look over the books make sure that uh we're not spending too much money balance the transactions in quickbooks make the uh, profit reports for the day um, go through and make sure that all of our uh, back-end systems that we've built, our PO system, our intake and outgoing uh, processes are working well. Uh, we have a massive database for everything Common Hype, so I just make sure that that is working. And uh, it's a pretty much full-time job just doing that, so. Yeah, make sure, again, the books, number one, are more in line, what our cogs are, what actually we're selling things for, all that stuff. So that's Tommy's job on a day-to-day -day basis. And then obviously when we open up our new location, he'll, he'll be having to, you know, transfer inventory over to that Scottsdale location. Drew? Drew, right. come out. Oh, uh, <laughs> the background's just waiting. Drew does a lot of things. My brain is desk right now, just yeah. hanging out. Yeah, Drew's trying to fix our, we're getting billed twice by ADT security, unfortunately. Can't be having that. Yeah, can't be having that. Drew's but. job, basically, he's our website guy, he's our marketing guy. He actually just did our new website for Common Hype, which was obviously an amazing job. So what is, other than that, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Just I'm your assistant. Whatever Brandon says goes. <laughs> he does our SMS stuff. He does our email marketing things. He does a bunch of graphics that we have. He puts together all the lookbooks for us. So he's a man behind the scenes. He's also going to be the GM of Scottsdale for uh, the holiday season. And then hopefully we can hand that off to other people. All right. Um, yeah. We just got a new conference table. We'll have meetings and stuff here. We just got a whiteboard over here. Lunch break over here. Steve is eating. It looks like a piece of toast with a hash brown. 
two pieces of chicken, actually. It's I'm a chicken happy patty. I'm it's not. Okay. That's a criminal sandwich. <laughs> that is a criminal. Ow, that is a criminal sandwich. Just a chicken sandwich, sandwich bro. White Go bread. help the customer. White bread. White bread with chicken. Come on, bread? bro. Are you using Violet. two different sauces? Violet. And then over here, day-to-day -day stuff for Bryson includes basically him with his headphones all day, just in the studio editing. We take all of our product lookbook shots over here, so just things like that. We also, he has basically allocated pictures that he's got to take every single day, repurposing content, things of that nature. Sam's here, he's doing all of our short form content, YouTube shorts, TikToks, things like that. He is the man in charge of all that. So kind of a day in life, quick day in life of the responsibilities the team has. Ben behind the camera is our new guy. Chill him, Ben. What's so your guys, job? So basically, uh, every day we come in, um, we have Sam now for short form content, which is awesome. He's a big help. Uh, Bryson's main focus is YouTube. So I'm kind of just allocating between YouTube and short form content and then also filming whenever we need to film stuff. So it's my job. So quick little series with that. Let's get into the rest of this video. Special unboxing in this clip today. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but the, there was a Nike truck that got robbed. Bryson can throw a screenshot of some news report or something on the screen. Cherry 11s, Midnight Navy 4s, and Georgetown 6 is just off the truck gone people are stealing them and then reselling back to sneakers 800k right 800k I worth of stuff they morning. didn't have any cameras in the back of their truck so they just they have no idea what happened it's crazy you think inside job i said who it's said that job. tommy uh, inside job no cameras come on man that's too easy that's something tommy would say Anyways, these are not either of those three pairs, but this is something, in my opinion, besides the Cherry 11s, these are the better release coming up. Let's bring them to the table. A little overhead unboxing or yeah. what? Let me just stand right. behind you. Yeah, okay. Get closer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jordan Flight Box. New box, not your typical Jordan 4 box. Black slash light steel gray dash white. Size nine and a half. That's my size. That feels good. Let's open them up. Kind of a crazy inside box. Like a, not a tie-dye, but... I guess a tie-dye. Galaxy type inside box. You open it up and bam. Early pairs of the Jordan 4 SE black canvas. By the way, Johnson and I were trying to figure it out the other day. If you guys know what SE stands for, let me know in the comments. We think it's special edition. That's the only thing that really makes sense, but uh, there's only been three SE models that have released in the past couple years. You've got the Jordan 4 SE Sashikos, which I think that was really 2018, so maybe four. I guess that's four years. Uh, the Jordan 4 uh, Neon 94 SEs, I think is what they were called. Remember, I hit those on the outlets. Uh, made a bunch of money at those. On those, we saw those at Project Blitz, and then the SE black canvas right here. This isn't a black hat four. Don't get me wrong, but this is this is pretty nice. You got a canvas material on the toe box, a gray midsole with uh, that proceeds into a white with your air bubble right here. You've got a nice red flight. So we've got hints of red on the shoe. Unfortunately, it's not a Nike Air on the back, but that's okay. That you, would go wicked. That would go wicked. Inside, you've got the Air Jordan and the red stitching as well. Inside, you got the Jordan emblem in red. Pretty self-explanatory. Red on the bottom as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Regardless, it's a Jordan 4. Jordan 4 market has been crazy as of recently. Just go look at Military Black Force, Thunder Force, Lightning Force. The only issue is it's kind of feeling them right now. I mean, the quality is not the greatest. But it's canvas, so. But it's canvas and it's going to sell because it's a black Jordan 4. They're easy to clean. They won't crease that bad. It's not going to be a $900, $800 Jordan 4 like the Black Cats were. You know, maybe at the peak, these these hit the 450 range. Maybe after the release, I think right now they're sitting about 260, 270, 280. They're definitely going to hit 350 if they release before Christmas, but not sure on the exact release date, but there you go. Jordan 4 Black Canvas SE special edition. Well, boys, uh, I think these are going to be the Broke Boy M&M Carhartts, just like the Mochas with the Travises, the originals. You know, people call the Mochas the Broke Boy Travis. These are going to be the Broke Boy M&Ms. All very good points. Yep. How much are you looking for on these? What size is this? Like, like 140. Can you give me 130? 135. Um, should we... Uh, we could probably... Yeah, honestly, 135 is fine on yeah. that. You see? Um, size 9, right? Yep. 180. 180. You want 70? 175 to you. Um, yeah, that works. 310 so far. I actually have a bull clip of these coming. I would give you, I don't know what they're at right now. I'd give you 220 on them. I'll take that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Mystic Navies. Um, what are you at? Um, relatively lower. I give you 130. Uh, hopefully we can get another five in. So I give you 135. Um, let's go back to these ones. Right? Okay. Use fire red, 11 and a half. Uh, that's a, I don't know. What are you at? Um, I can move these. I just got, it's got to be a good price for me yeah. to move at. Would be your best price kind of for an 11 and a half. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll do like 320. Um, uh, 320 be a little high. We may be a little far off on these because that probably sell for. What are you at? Me ish. I would assume. Um, so I'd like to be at 250. 
Yeah, maybe just a little. Cool. That's cool. Um, are you around that price for the other fire right too? Uh, those are my brothers. Uh, I think he might be lower on those. Yeah, two six. Two, Sounds six. good. Cool grays. Eleven and a half. Where'd you get these ones from? Um, I got these and the fire reds and the military from some guy. Um, yeah, these ones are. I I don't think are okay. In my, per, in my personal opinion, I just I wouldn't take these. Yeah. Um, just a few things that I kind of see are off on them. Um, personally, Can just like the um, the size tag in there, as well as the the font on the inside tag. Um, kind of like the whole feel of the shoe. The cage okay. right here is really tight too. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah. And then right. this font right here, throwing me off. Just I was thinking the color on it. But well, the color fades okay. on boxes like this, but the font on okay, it, yeah. um, it's just it's typically darker than what you would see okay. in a cool gray box. Yeah. Plus the air bubble right here is pretty firm, um, where you want to see some cushion on yeah. it. Um, and then the tongue is just really. really did these ones look good then? Do you want me to check those? Yeah, for you? yeah. I got these and it's military from the same guys. Okay, yeah. sounds good. These on the other hand, they look pretty fine to me. Yeah, I, I don't see any issues with these. Wait, can I see these ones? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, these ones. Because I feel like the stars looked a little bigger on these ones. On that one compared to these? Yeah. Or, yeah, I think so. Um, it kind of just depends. The stars are so inconsistent okay, anyways yeah. on Jordan the Force. Um, good. Thank you, though. But yeah, these ones look okay. Off-white lots of use, right? Yeah. Where'd you get these from? They're so clean. Um, Gilbert, I think. How much are you looking for on these? Um, they're lot 15. Of course they're used, but like, would you be? Yeah, these are brand new pairs I still get for about 450 to five, kind of depends on the lot and everything. Yeah. So usually I like to sell in off-white lots on like four. Um, typically, I just to be honest, we don't really pay great on use, yeah. just because I like to sell them and get rid of them quickly. Um, so my offer on these, I would give you three. three. Yeah. Is that your max? Yeah, that would be my max on these. Okay, I might take these, but let's go back to you. Cool, sounds good. Do you like this shoe? I, don't know. See, I, don't <laughs> I got two. I, I don't mind it. One. <laughs> I actually don't mind this shoe at all. Really? I wouldn't wear it personally. I like how many laces it comes with. That's what I really like about it. it gives it some flavor. I like the hearts on the toe box. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and obviously these are from Caltown. How much are you looking for on these? I give you 160. Do 170? I'd be for my 160 on these. I would. Um, I'd take that. 160? Yeah, because I don't. I got this from Caltown. Or not Caltown, sorry. Um, Sidewalk Surfer. Yeah. I just heard of that story. Yeah. Yeah. So bad. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, damn. Um, how much you looking for on these? Um, you tell me. Two hundred bucks. Two two twenty. Two ten. Can't do two twenty. Two fifteen. Two twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. All right. I got these from many worlds actually. Worn like once, right? Yeah, they're so. Mm -hmm. Do four twenty. Do four forty. I'd be firm at four twenty on these. Can't do four thirty. No, I'd like to be at 420 on these. I'll take that actually. Okay, cool. 420 works. How long have you been reselling for? Um, me and my friend started an Instagram page not too long ago, maybe like six months ago. These guys? No, no, no. Okay. That's, that's my Different. brother. Okay, nice. Yeah. How's your goal for you? Pretty good. I, I just don't mainly hit retail online and in stores. That's the best way to do it. I used to buy used, but then I don't know, I get too lazy to like clean up shoes. And like, that's the hardest part about it. We don't. If it's bad, we'll try and clean it up, but sometimes we'll just we'll sell, sell it as is, and yeah. that's all, you know? Because, I mean, you have to hire somebody, you gotta yeah. pay them to clean that shoe. It takes time. Seven and a half, and then you have to eight and a half. Yeah. How much are you looking for on both of these? Um, sorry. Do 180. I'd be at 160 and 180. Do 175 each? No, I'd be firm on these. They don't move as well as I thought they would. Yeah, I like this blue right here, but... I like that too. I'm a fan, but... Um, would you do 170 on this 7.5? Um, 170 and 7. You, you want to hold on to the eight and a half? Yeah, could I? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, and then last one that we have here, Judge Grace, or lottery, or jackpot. <laughs> jackpot. There's like yeah, there's like four of them. Just yeah. gonna, um, on these, would you take 180? I'd be a little low for me on these. Let me see. It's pretty cool. You scratch this off. I know. It'll actually come off. Would you do two? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Give me a 190. I'll probably be at two on these guys. Two's pretty tight. So we're at 1060 for these. These three no, yeah. off-white lots. <laughs> um, you're at three, right? Right. I might just hold off. Let's go. Cool. Uh, how much are you at on the oh, Let's see store credit first. Store credit? Do you have a number in mind at all? 20 around there. Yeah, I do 220. That's fair. Yeah, these are maybe two. 140 yeah. on these. Or are you good on these? I'd be at 150 if you could do that. Okay, I pass on these. Okay. These are a little more beat. Not for you. Um, I was kind of feeling those. Onyx? Yeah. Um, I do a straight swap on it. That I try them off first because they're 12, yeah. so like, I don't want to see. Yeah, take your time. Pop it on, bro. How much were you out on these? I'm not even too sure to be honest. I could take these, but um, I've had a couple other turbos over there. Yeah. And 
It's weird. It's such a great shoe, but it's, it's not something a lot of people look for, yeah, no, which is weird because I, I, I think this, this is one of my favorite Jordan ones. Do you have any price in mind at all? I was gonna say like maybe like around three. I'll make it easy. I'll give you two forty on these. And then two forty credit right. on these, and then these are. So like, can try those on real quick. See how those feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, same time. We recalculated the entire deal. Seventeen hundred bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight pairs. Shout out to my guy right here. Yes, Would, sir. Anything you want to shout out? I got an Instagram if you guys could follow it. It's souls.steppin on IG. Sweet. Sounds good. And he'll be popping out to Fashion Square when we open that and, and all that. So again, if you guys have a collection, you want to come to the store, come get cash out. You could be in Arizona. You could be um, from all the way across the country. But feel free to come get cash out. We'll give you cold, hard cash and uh, we'll send you on your way. Or store credit. Or store credit if you want store credit, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the video again. We're here in the podcast room today and I was thinking, you know, we do the unboxing in the back. It's loud back there. Brandon's on the phone. Drew's typing away. I said, you know what? We made this nice room. We haven't used it yet. Let's do some unboxings in here today. Shout out to Vic for sending us the Supreme chair. We'll do the unboxings on it today. So we got our first package right here. I think one out of five, one out of four. Yeah, we're starting it off hot, boys and girls. We have a size six and a half, Travis Scott reverse mocha. Let's take a peek. You guys saw our last video. We were telling you guys how many fakes have been coming in. Maybe we'll legit check these on camera for you guys. I'm checking on the tag. I'm checking to see the stiffness on the tongue. The fake pair in our last video, the Cactus Jack little tab on the tongue was super, super thin. So you wanna make sure that's thick. And then you're checking to make sure the cream and the white offset, right? You're looking at the stitching in the midsole. And then of course, we're just looking at the proportions, everything, making sure everything feels right and looks good. We'll do one more test. Sniff test looks good. Paper looks good, box looks good. So shout out to this person for this pair right here. Size six and a half for the ladies. Next box, we got a dunk. We have a men's pair, size 12 gonna be your classic black and white dunk. Plenty of these come and go out of the doors here at Common Hype. So we got another one for you guys live on commonhype.com. New website dropped today. I know we posted that on Friday, but today is Friday. So new website looks great. Shout out to Drew for killing it. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'm a huge fan. All right, next pair right here. Looks like you got an off-white lot dunk. Lot number 45 and a size nine and a half. Look, man, not my favorite colorway. I'm gonna be honest with you. Matches your hat. But it's not a bad one. Matches the hat, could go with the fit if I needed it to. Speaking of fits, we'll get the quick fit check. I got the yellow toe Jordan ones on. Johnson actually gifted these to me for the grand opening of Common Hype HQ, so shout out to Johnson for that. I got the Bound by Soul pants from, I think it was the last winter season, they did a pop-up in Cleveland. And then I got the Common Hype sample hoodie. I'm still wearing it, still washing it, drying it, making sure you guys get the best quality hoodie when we drop them. And then under it, shout out to my boy Blake, Sinners Now Saints, I got the Kobe. Big face tee. It went pretty hard, but it's chilly in my office. He stepped out today. Stepped out, man. But anyway, we have lot number 45. Let me know what you guys think of these. Not my favorite lot again, but can't go wrong with this one. I think I have lot 18. Drop a comment. What's your favorite? Because there's 50 to choose from. And last box right here, return to sender. I need to see it. Someone was asking about that. They oh, it. no way. We're going to get this shipped back out. It got returned, but we'll make sure it gets out. Did the friends and family common hype hat for the grand opening invitations. Super fire. I think we only showed this one other time, but I think if this is a colorway that we're gonna run back, probably do it a little differently, obviously, to keep this one to friends and family, but I'm really, really happy with how that one turned out. So that's gonna be the unboxings today. Three new shoes and one hat that we shipped off already once. Thank you guys for tuning in.